going everyone? This is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is part of a review of the ASUS GTX 650 Ti Direct CU2 top video card. And in this part we take a look at the uh, uh, GPU tweak utility and also the overclocking of the GTX 650 Ti Direct CU2 top video card from the already 1GHz plus GPU clock which is right now at its 1033 uh, MHz. See, uh, in case you're not familiar with the layout of the GPU tweak, just a, just a quick refresher here. You have the GPU clock, GPU voltage, memory clock, and fan speed options in here. Uh, in case you don't see the GPU voltage option, make sure to check the advanced option here at the bottom. You can see it says standard mode, but uh, it will flip to standard mode if I click that. But by default, it is standard mode, and you click that, it will turn into advanced mode. It will give you a lot more options. So with this one, we can adjust the GPU voltage. You can crack it up all the way to uh, 1.175 and apply. And we can adjust our uh, GPU clock higher than what we normally do. And uh, what we do, of course, is run Unigine in the back while well, you can do this. And you can adjust that, uh, the GPU temperature, uh, the GPU clock and the memory clock. Uh, you can make adjustments for those while the, while the program is running. But I, what I do is actually, I make my adjustments incrementally and then make uh, and then let Unigine completely finish. That's why I know that uh, it is completely stable because sometimes uh, you push it to uh, push it too far and it only crashes at the very last second of Unigine. So you want to make sure that it is stable before you uh, you completely uh, finish it. As you can see here, in Jupiter, I'm running the room a little bit cooler right now. I'm 27 degrees. When I tested, it was 30 uh, 30 degrees Celsius. Uh, with the case closed, I've actually opened the side panel of the case here, so I'm just trying to demonstrate how how quiet this card really is. So I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to ramp up the fan speed. Uh, it's actually inaudible until you reach 50%, and let me just I'm going to let you hear that. I'm going to be quiet while I uh, flip this to manual, and then just listen to the fan noise in the background. As you can hear, once it reached 50, that's when that's pretty much the only time it started to kick in. And uh, even under load, it was the fast we didn't ramp up beyond 40. So that means it's pretty much going to stay quiet the entire time. Even when overclocked, the fan didn't need to ramp up all the way to 50 at all. So unlike the higher end uh, Kepler video cards, where you have to make uh, you have to keep the temperatures within 60, 70 degrees so that it doesn't throttle down. With the 650Ti, you don't need to worry about that because there's no throttling, there's no GPU boost. And also, uh, the adjustments you make are directly, uh, they, they affect the GPU clock directly. As you can see here, 1033 is not an offset, so it, what, what adjustments you make here directly reflects the actual GPU clock. And actually, the highest I've, re I've gotten was 5550 for the memory. And uh, GPU, I think I got a 1,000 to 100 uh, megahertz, which is nothing uh, to sneeze at. That is very, very good, considering this is already the top model. That uh, usually what I, what I'm, I've gotten used to is that uh, manufacturer would would release the highest uh, factory overclock one, but then there isn't enough uh, headroom to push it further. But this one, the combination, of course, of the uh, DG Plus VRM, the super alloy capacity, uh, super alloy power uh, technology from ASUS, and also the architecture itself of the 650i, the GK106, allows for a, a good overclocking headroom. And as you can see here, the um, my room is really cold. It's running out. So I'm running at 50 percent fancy. That's why. I can see the temperature is even a lot lower here than the when leaving it at auto. I'm going to continue on with the fan speed, although it doesn't really matter because, it, as, I, as I said, it doesn't ramp up beyond 40%, so there's no sense kind of listening to uh, higher higher fan speeds than that. Other than, of course, academic, just for academic reasons. So that's 60. 
and predictably 70 will be a lot louder than that and well you get an idea and uh, let's just click auto here you see that it will ramp down slowly you can just uh, manually click down to the lowest hit apply and it will immediately go back there and that pretty much is it. Uh, right now, if you click on the GPU interval here, nothing will show up yet because uh, it needs to be updated. So you see that it's not being seen by the uh, by the GPU Z program properly yet. It doesn't even detect the GPU clock properly in here. But you can see that the GPU clock here, the left side, is indeed 1200 megahertz. Uh, of course, uh, that is not really an issue. As you can, what you can do is uh, here you can. There is a live update button in the GP Tweak utility. So you can once the update for that comes out, you just need to. You can just click this, and it will update uh, your GP Tweak utility. Keeps it up to date, makes it compatible with the latest video card uh, video cards from Asus, and also up updated to the latest drivers. And it pretty much covers this uh, overclocking uh, mini tutorial. And uh, the, of course, the fan speed we've, hit, we've heard is very quiet. And now we go back to the rest of the review. You can uh, read my conclusion. And if you've probably seen, if you're watching this video from the website, you've probably seen the benchmarks already. And uh, just how well the GPU, the uh, GTX 650 Ti directs you to top video card performs compared to the reference GTX 650 Ti and compares to the 560, 660, and a previous generation 550 Ti, as well as the AMD Radeon HD 7770 gigahertz edition, which is uh, the, the cards that are within the price range of the GTX 650 Ti. All right, thanks for watching and see you next time.